y'all welcome back to another vlog as you can see by the title we are doing a day in a life i haven't did one of these in a very long time i figured since i am currently about to end my assignment i can take y'all along with me i don't know if i'm gonna do the full three days or just do today it depends on like how my shift is if it's a lot going on then i'll try to pick up as much as i can and just kind of show y'all but it is 6 32 i always arrive early because i'm in atlanta so it just is inevitable um but i looked at the schedule out on this at this assignment i can check and see if i got floated or not and it looks like i didn't get floated which i'm surprised because they had like eight nurses left i mean working tonight and i'm like there's no way that they're gonna fully staff us um so we'll see when i actually get there i'm gonna actually check when i clock in because i clock on my clock in on my phone too we'll see if we got floated or not either way we're gonna have a good night i'm already claiming it i like to come in with a new mindset positive like let's just get it all i gotta do is if i do have a bad night it's just like i remind myself like all you gotta do is get through these 12 hours and then you get a break and so that's what we're going in with a positive mindset so i will see y'all when i get in oh that's cool so we did get floated last minute this actually to a florida oh i don't know somebody on hold a florida i had a bad night at before and i was like do not ever float me here um but we're gonna have a good night i'm claiming it we'll see i'll let y'all know what this assignment looking like yeah so i'm new on this floor so nobody is going to actually come and find me to give me a report so i'm about to look up everybody um until somebody comes and looks for me um this is a reno floor that's why i hate it um but my man pass doesn't look too bad i'm going to use my sheet y'all know i use this sheet all the time i've been using it since i've been a nurse but i'm about to just add what i need to add and get started so i pretty much got a report on all of my patients except for one i'm about to clean off my desk while i'm waiting for that nurse to come find me um because it'd be nasty in this hospital so let's clean up <laughs> basically passed all my meds <laughs> except for one person because we got the flu and i'm just waiting um before i go in and make sure i got everything i need um so far we're doing decent this i didn't like this unit because when i came like nobody this remember it was a vlog far back when i was like i was doing my um uh, i think i was doing my nursing aches and i'm like you can tell them for like there is no teamwork that's why i didn't like this floor but we're gonna have a good night i'm claiming it um i'm about to i gotta give this patient some insulin so i'm waiting for the tech to do the blood sugar i honestly might just go in there and do it myself so i can get it out the way instead of waiting because i don't know where she is at in her foyer thing um but that's pretty much it so i'll check in with y'all later all right y'all so all my meds are passed i'm about to grab me a snack y'all know i'm a snacker one thing about it, I have designated snack time, honey. Um, I bought me some watermelon, and then I made me like this cucumber and tomatoes with some lemon juice and some sea salt. Oh my god, it's so good! Um, but I'm about to eat my watermelon now. And then I did meal prep. I could have showed y'all that, but this is not what this is. That is that type of video. Um, but I'm about to eat my. And it looks good too. I'm about to eat my watermelon and then i'm about to sit down the chart i have five patients tonight i think i told y'all that I'm, I'm on a renal floor um but most of my patients are just um dialysis patients most of them are well, actually all of them are dialysis patients with the exception of one he got the flu um and he must be overflow because he don't have nothing renal going on with him but oh, let me have sugar let me a fork why they only got spoons? Where the fork's at? Oh, I'm down here. Oh. You know you can always start making all them noises. Anyway, I'm about to chart. chat later. Y'all, I have been horrible at vlogging, but that's really, that better be my patient again. Me and my patient about to square up. Because he, he, that's him. Calling for this pain medication and his blood pressure is low. And I'm like, 
Sir, absolutely not. I'm not chasing your blood pressure. You want pain medication every two hours. No, we're not doing that. Who was I thinking of? Okay, I'm about to see if there's medication in here. Because why don't it ever come up? Anyway, the point that I was making, yeah, they still need to fill it. The point that I was making is that ain't nothing to go on today. It's been a chill night, except for me and him going back and forth about why I won't get him medication. When she make her rounds, when she was in there, he ain't want her touching her. I told her, she said she'll get to him when she get back. All right, y'all. Forgive me. Not even forgive me. I really don't even want to record if nothing is going on. This is typically an easy assignment. My nights do not be bad. I might have like annoying things happen to me like <laughs> that man before I had cut off for that last clip. The man, that was the same man who was pestering me about his pain medications. But he was hypotensive. And I'm like, sir, I'm not about to be... He was stable. His blood pressure was in the 90s. But I'm like, I'm not about to be chasing your blood pressure. Like, every time I do pain medication, it keeps getting lower. Like, he started out in, like, the 130s. And then, now he's in the 90s. So, I called a provider. Like, this man is adamant about having his pain medication. The thing is, he has a pain pump. So, what we giving him is... And well, he had a pain pump, but it's empty now. So what we giving him is nothing than what he used to. And he's wanting it like every hour. And I'm like, bro, no, that's first of all, I'm not doing that. I'm not coming to you every freaking hour to give you no pain medication. You need to be on a PCA pump or something like that. But anyway, the point that I'm making is that his blood pressure was low. I knew that she was going to try to give him a bolus. This man going to say some, can you give me coffee instead? So don't play with me. Please do not play with me. Anyway, long story short, he ref he refused his labs. He wouldn't let us change his mind. He incontinent. So he just sitting in shit. He like, I don't want anything until I get my pain medication. Say less. Because one thing I'm not going to do is argue with you. But then I guess he realized, like, damn, I don't want to sit in my own shit. <laughs> so he called us back like, well, can y'all change me? No problem. But he didn't even want the bolus. So I'm like, sir, I'm not about to argue with you. I let the provider know. I put my little note in there. I, and when I gave a uh, report to day shift, I let them know that as well. So now he is no longer my problem. But anyway, I got to come back tonight. And excuse me if I'm talking like this because I got my retainer in. I got to come back tonight. Um, we'll see if I get floated or not. Um, and we'll see if we have a good night or an interesting night. Like, I don't want to just come and talk to y'all about nothing. So maybe I'll be a little bit more detailed about my shift um, and what I do and how I do stuff or whatever. Anyway. I'm going to go home and go to bed. I will see y'all tonight. All right, y'all. So, we're going to try to do better today. This is our last day of my assignment. Woo! They actually floated me today, though. We are on um, a pulmonary floor. I've been floated to this unit, like, several times. I typically don't have a bad night. Um, so, we'll see. They're like, one thing about it, y'all, I don't do trachs. Like, I feel like every nurse has their advice. And maybe some nurses can do all of it. But trachs is, like, so disgusting to me. Like, I want to gag. Give me poop. Give me pee. Give me blood. <laughs> give me whatever. But trachs, like, I'll do it if I absolutely have to do it. But if respiratory there and they taking care of it, baby, I ain't touching it. It's disgusting to me. So that's the only thing I don't like about the floor. But typically, they don't give me a lot of those patients. So it's not that bad. So... It's a Saturday. Hopefully, we are fully staffed. And I only have like four to five patients. Last night I had four, and I was on my regular unit. Um, I doubt I have four tonight, but we'll see. Let's see what the night beholds. All right, y'all, so we didn't enter the ghetto. We got six patients tonight. Oh, uh, what? What's going on? Six patients. I'm hoping at the very least, that even though we got six patients, ooh, and a charge out. They must have somebody call off. There's a charge out, five patients. That's real good. Huh? Um, but I'm hoping, that even though I got six patients, at least some of them are actually here. Uh, cause, ooh, not on my last day, but it's okay. We just gotta get through our 12 hours, y'all. That's it. All right, I'll see y'all after I get report.
All right, y'all. So we got a report. It's looking very ghetto. Um, they sound ghetto on paper, but they might not be that bad. You know, like when you get report, people sound like the worst. Um, but I'm about to. I just cleaned off my space because this floor is disgusting. Um, so I'm about to go introduce myself to everybody so I can lay eyes on them and see what's going on. Oh, child, if y'all see my <laughs> my chart, it is so much going on on here. These men's ain't no joke, and I got six patients. I ain't had six patients in a minute, but we're going to get through tonight. So let me go say hello to everybody. Make sure they good, alive, because they just caught a rapid on somebody, not my patient. Um, but make sure everybody good, and then I'll come back and check with y'all. It is 8 o'clock now. Usually I'll be ready to pass my meds, and I'll talk to everybody. But again, everybody sound like they a lot on paper, so let's go see. All right, so update. Um, most of my patients seem decent. One and she is demented, so we gotta clean her up. One is pain management, but the pain management regimen they got her on, she's not satisfied with, and the doctor is already aware of it, and they did not address it. They kept it the same, so she's upset about that. So I'm just going to reach out to the on call. Typically, they're not gonna do much other than say leave it for the morning shift because the morning person was the person who made the decision in the first place, and that's all I could do is let her know. She's probably not gonna be happy today, but it is what it is. Um, and everybody else seem I'm trying to I'm looking at the rooms everybody else seemed decent I didn't check on my text so we good so I'm about to pass these minutes let's go I need you yeah I really do tell me what to do okay. tell me what to do okay. tell me what to do all I know is hit the mall see what damage I could do okay. alright y'all right, gotta be incognito so I'm done passing minutes it's 9.50 that's really late for me but I'm honestly my patients aren't that bad. It's this chart and that I'm looking at. Like child, if y'all could see what this look like, it looks ridiculous. But I'm about to probably make me some coffee or something. I have a designated snack break. I like to snack and chart at the same time. No. We are about to chart and then hopefully we have like a chill night, baby. With six patients, it needs to be chill. So I'll holler at y'all when I'm going. Alright y'all, so update, I was tired, it's one by ten, I had to draw some lab on one of my patients because his hemoglobin had been trending down, so guess what, we have to give him blood tonight, his hemoglobin is at 6.8, um, so I'm just waiting on the doctor to put the orders in for that, one of my patients, I think I told y'all about the one who was complaining about her pain medication, um, and she don't believe it is dropping her blood pressure, they end up giving her a one time dose, and guess what it did? drop her blood pressure so that she had the nerve to ask for something to sleep which was going to drop it even more and I told her no man so me and her not on good terms actually she cool she cool with me she just don't like the fact that you know she in the hospital and we monitor and everything you know when people be at home they do what they want to do take their pills when they want to take them ain't nobody checking their blood pressure as long as they feel fine they good in the hospital things are more structured and people don't like that especially when it comes to their pain medication, so she'll be okay. Um, other than that, I got like two more patients to try on, I believe. And I'm saying the night just been coasting. I ain't complaining. Not that I don't want to do blood. Blood is not like the end of the world. It's just, you know, you having to stay in there with them for the 15 minutes or however. The whole setup and signing off like it can be tedious but it's not that big of a deal so i will check back on y'all when something else going on all right y'all so they all had to get blood but the damn doctor took so long to put the orders in i don't think i'm gonna be able to get it you know they gotta do a type of screen and all that child so six patients out of six all the six of my patients all the day all of them got uh what am i trying to say all of them got, who am I going with first? Okay. Um, all of them got sent through it this morning. That's like a rarity that I got to give all my patients medication. So I'm about to pull these morning meds. And then my guy who I got to get blood, um, he got a pick line. So I have to draw, because um, he got Q6, H&H. &H, I have to draw it again. Um, but I really wanted to get the blood. I'm not that type of person like where I want to leave stuff for other people. I wanted to get that blood out the way for a day shift, um, but 
I know it, it's five o'clock now. I know I'm not gonna have time. I know it seems like oh, that's two hours from now. You should have time, girl. No, because they're slow. They're slow, and yeah. So she probably not gonna believe me, but girl, I tried. I tried to do the blood, mind you. This was at one o'clock, y'all. I asked. I texted doctor at one o'clock. No response. Somebody else had called like an hour later. I'm like, hey, can you? put this in like i got a critical lab she like okay cool um i'm waiting for her because at this point like i've already expressed to you what you need to do um who am i going with next um i talked to her a third time i'm like hey you know what's up you said you was gonna put it in she's talking about some um i'll try I'm, I'm so confused. Like, what are you talking about? Anyway, she ended up putting it in. But I know it's going to be too. By the time lab get done with it, it's going to be too late. So, I just wanted to check it with y'all. Um, and I'll hit y'all later. Y'all, we are done and out, child. I'm so glad to be done. Um, this is the only hospital that I work at where they purposely start handle at 7 o'clock. They allow you to clock in on your phone. So a lot of times people be clocking in their phone in on their phone in their car at 7 45 and then be walking up here. So I'm literally waiting late. Waiting them for to, them to be late to do huddle. Anyway, child, so I'm not even tripping because today's the last day. We're about to take a little breaky break before we go on our next contract, because y'all know we're going to Cali. Um, yeah, I had a good night. It was like a little bit busy, but nothing like that I couldn't handle. You know, six patients is always ghetto, but I'm not complaining about my night. I ended up not having to get a blood. I had to recheck. He was a, his Asian age was Q6. I just checked in again and it went up, but the order was to transfuse less than seven. So I let the day shift know and she can decide if she want to do it, but I'm pretty sure it's going to go down because it's been trending now. Um, but other than that, like... I ain't got no complaints. It was a chill night. Staff was chill. Everybody was cool. We was kikiing throughout the night. And so it is 6.58. Y'all know I'll be ready to go. Uh, so I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I don't know if I even said anything that was of value. But I know y'all like little videos like this. So till next time, I'll see y'all in the next video.